A nasal pharyngeal carcinoma, a briefly MPC, is a unique head and neck cancer with an extremely unbalanced geographic distribution. MPC has a high incidence in Southeast Asia, North Africa, and especially in South China. About half of the MPC cases worldwide or diagnosed in China. Our cancer center, Sunxian University Cancer Center, is the biggest treatment center for MPC all around the world. We treat over 6,000 MPC patients every year. Our group has been dedicated to the study of MPC for more than 30 years. In 2009, we published a trial in the New England Journal of Medicine. That trial established the induction chemotherapy plus concurrent chemo radio as the standard of the care in the local uh, regional advanced MPC. However, despite such intensified uh, treatment, about 20 of the patients still experience disease recurrence. This is the unmet need for this population. And uh, Continuum is a phase three randomized trial conducted in Chinese centers. Patients were stage three for a MPC were eligible, excluding those with a low risk of recurrence, that is patients with T3 to 4 and lymph node negative and a T3N1 disease. They are randomized to receive induction chemotherapy and a concurrent chemo radiotherapy or the same treatment plus steadily map. Patients in the Sydney map group receive 200 mg sydney map every three weeks for 12 cycles including three cycles before three cycles concurrent and six cycles after radiotherapy the primary endpoint is event-free survival efs which is the most common primary endpoint in trials in local or regional advanced MPC. Event include local or regional recurrence, distant metastasis, or death of any cause. The results are exciting. The three year EFS increased by 10% from 76% in the standard group to 86% in the Sydney MAP group. The risk of the developing events was reduced by 41%. The risk of distant metastasis is rendered by 43%. Well, the risk of local regional recurrence is reduced by 48%. Regarding the safety, the incidence of the high grade, that's grade three or four adverse events, is higher in the Sydney MAP group, which is 74% and 65% respectively. Adverse events leading to the death occur in two patients in the Sydney MAP group and one patient in the standard group. However, the incidence of the high-grade immune-related adverse events was less than 10%. These immune-related adverse events usually resolve soon with the dose interruptions and the appropriate superoperative care. Overall, 70% of the patients were able to complete the protocol-defined Sydney MAP uh, treatment.
based on the significant improved EFS and uh, highly but imaginable adverse events, the continuum trial supports the using of the CDNA map and maybe other PD-1 inhibitors plus induction chemoradiotherapy and concurrent chemotherapy in patients with high risk local regional advanced MPC. In short, continuum is a practice changing and the regime will be become the standard of care. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.